In this video, we'll show you how to replace a charger port on a JBL Pulse 2 speaker. And for this demonstration, we have already uh, taken apart the housing and the skin of this speaker and just and had just enough to left to expose the charger port. It's not necessary to fully take it out as we have access to it right here. And we have freed it up a little bit. There's some hot glue uh, adhesive that holds it, but we have freed it up and now ready to do the job. So first thing I do is grab grab tweezers to hold hold the the port and use my hot air gun. So with my hot air gun, I have the temperature at 850 degrees Fahrenheit. You can plus or minus that and I have around 50% air. All right, this should be hot enough. So we can start heating it up. Be sure to aim the air away from the speaker so that it the heat travels outside. Right. There we go, that was it. Doesn't take too much effort or too much heat. Now that we have the port off, our next job will be to clean up all of the factory solder that is right now on in the anchor points and on the pads. So let's do that. Let's add some flux before we do anything. Flux is your friend, so be generous with it. Now what I like to do to help me get the factory solder out of the anchor points, anchor holes, whatever you want to call them, I like to add some of our leaded solder, mix it up so that the melting point will be a little bit lower. So I'm going to mix up the factory solder. Factory solder uses unleaded solder. We have I believe 6337 uh, leaded solder and leaded solder has a lower melting point but a stronger bond when it's all said and done. All right. So I mixed up all, all of the solder with our solder here and I'll be using solder wick. I'll be using solder wick to soak up all of these solder that's in here right now or on the port. And we want to soak up all of the solder just so that the new port, when we install it, it will be flush, sitting flat. The pins will be sitting flat on the pads. You don't need much pressure. Just hold it until you start, start seeing smoke. That's my indicator that it's melting and it's getting soaked up. All right. That's the first hole. You could try to help it out, make a little circular motion if you'd like. But there we go, we got smoke. All right, that hole's through. Now if it's taking a little longer like that second one, add some flux. Flux helps, helps to melt the solder a bit quicker. Yeah, and I'm not really pressing too hard. I'm just having the iron lay on top of it and do its work. All right, let's add some, if it's taken a little bit, you can add some more of the solder that, your own solder. Let's add some more of it in here. This just helps us soak up everything. That looks good. Now let's soak up all of the pads. Let's add some flux here. So there's five pads on this charger port. And it's import, highly important here not to press or put too much pressure so you don't peel up any pads. Just lay your solder down, your iron onto the pads. Now there is one pad that doesn't lead to anywhere. So if you do peel it off or it, you accidentally do 
have it come off. It's not the end of the world. And this pad is, let me point it out to you guys. It's right here, the second to the edge, if you can see that. So if you bump that one off or have it come off, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but we like to keep it there for, to hold down the new port. All right, now it's all clear. Let me grab a Q-tip with alcohol and clean this area up a little bit. Let's grab our new port and lay the new port down. Now, I first start securing the anchors. So do that with the backside. Hold it with your tweezers. We'll be adding flux. Now I do try to pinch it from the back so that our uh, pins that are located on, on the back stay nice and flat to the pads. If you use your tweezers and hold it and pinch it from the front, you, the back of the uh, the back of the port is going to rise, making your pins rise as well, and we don't want that. I really like to work it in there. The solder it works like a sponge, and it travels up into the port, the port legs. Now, right, once you got like two of them down, it should be secure to do the rest without tweezers. So that's I think we have. Or let's add some flux. Now usually when I do this job I use a microscope but it's manageable without one. I just use a microscope because I have one so it just makes the job a little more easier I suppose but it's all, it works just fine without one. Now the last part here is to solder or connect the pins onto the pads and this part you got to be probably the most precise let's add some flux before we add solder that's always critical there's kind of a sweet spot between too much solder and too little on your solder iron when you go ahead and do this section now if you have too much solder you bridge the pins with solder and that's not good and if you have two at all you won't be able to get solder on onto the connector I mean if you bridge bridge two on accident it's not too big of a deal you just kind of slice it slice the connectors to unbridge them. Now you, you are trying to get the solder to go over the pins to get a nice secure connection. You sort of want ski slopes running from the ends of it down onto the pads. And this is where a microscope is a little help, more helpful, but my eyesight isn't too bad right now, so there we go. That looks good enough for me. And before it's done, let's clean up around here with alcohol and Q-tip again. And there we go. The port is installed and the job is done. It would just work secure back into place and there we go there's a charger port replacement for a JBL Pulse 2 speaker